So the first step, you guys, is to create a folder named Raycast. So let's go ahead and do that right now. R-E-I-C-A-S-T. Simple enough. We're going to go ahead and open this up. And the next step is to create another folder called Data within the Raycast folder we just created. All right. And then we're going to create another folder. We're going to call this one Games. All right. So let's go ahead and double click and enter in our Data folder. And here's where we're going to go ahead and put the Dreamcast BIOS files. So which are these two files right here. We're going to go ahead and copy and drag them here. First one is called DC underscore flash dot bin. And the next one is called DC underscore boot dot bin. Due to YouTube's policies, I can't tell you where you guys can download these from. But all I can say is Google is your friend. All right. So we're going to go back. We're going to go inside the games folder. And naturally, this is where we're going to put our Dreamcast games at. Here I have Sonic Adventure Part 1 for the Dreamcast. All right. So that's done. We're going to close this out. All right, you guys. Now that we've done that, we got to go ahead and take our Raycast folder right here. And we have to go ahead and put it inside of our phone. Okay. So go ahead and connect your phone to your PC. Open up your Explorer. And as you can see, here goes my phone right here, the Moto G. All right. So normally you would have another option right here that says external storage. Uh, my phone doesn't have external storage, I, which means a uh, micro SD slot. I don't have that. I just have internal storage. But that's good because you have to put the Raycast folder inside your internal storage, which is right here. Okay, so go ahead and put it here. And I'll be back as soon as this is done uh, copying. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and double check, make sure it's in here. All right, the alphabetical order. R, here it is, Raycast. Okay, bam, we have our two folders, data, we have our two BIOS folders, good, or files, excuse me, games, we have Sonic Adventure, awesome. All right, you guys, so the next logical step is to go ahead and install the application on our phone, and there's two ways to go about this. The more traditional way is to go ahead and install it through the Google Play Store, which I'll go ahead and show you guys, for those of you who don't know, for whatever reason. Um, we go to hit search, and here I have Raycast already, but just for sake of argument, I'm going to type it out for you guys. All right, Raycast, search, here it is. Click right there, hit install if you want to install it this way, hit accept and it'll install on your phone, okay? That's method one, which is the more conventional way. Uh, the only problem I have with this is that these official release builds take a long time to get released and I like to have the newest stuff available. So what I do is I go ahead and download the latest developer build, which is an APK file, which you go ahead and take from your PC once you're done downloading it, put it on your phone, so. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. Go to your root explorer, which is what I use to explore the files on my phone. And uh, where is it at? Here's the APK file, which is the Raycast folder, or the Raycast file, excuse me. So I click it once, install, next, install. Okay, so it's gonna install. So this is another way to install programs on your phone. And it would install the same way that you would install any other program through the Google Play Store, except I manually did it instead of having the Google Play Store do it for me. So as you can see, here goes Raycast right here. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. All right. We're going to slide over. We're going to go to Settings. And we're going to change the system path right here, okay? So we're going to hit Browse. First thing we want to do is hit these little two dots here, okay? We're going to go click it again. We want to go to SD card 0. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go to Raycast. All right, and we're going to hit select current folder. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here for the next one. Browse, go up two times, SD card zero, and we're going to hit Raycast. All right, select current folder, and that's it. Okay, slide over again, go back to browser, and here goes our game that's visible, Sonic Adventure. Okay. Uh, there's going to be a small issue. I'm going to hit here and it's going to say that the BIOS is missing. Watch this. Yeah, the BIOS is missing. I'm not sure why it does that because it's totally wrong. But we're going to hit dismiss. Okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to exit out the program. Okay. And go to your running list of running applications and go ahead and uh, close out Raycast manually there. Okay. That way it's totally closed out. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and go back inside the emulator. Go back to Raycast here. All right, so now let's go ahead and try that again. And we should have a running emulator. Ah, pretty cool, you guys, huh? So there it is, guys, a uh, Sega Dreamcast emulator running on an Android device, okay? So this, this 
is you know the uh, the startup screen it's a lag pretty loud actually uh, remember emulators aren't perfect you guys but this is running pretty well on a low-end device such as mine I have a Moto G which has very low specs and if it can run pretty well on my phone it'll run super well on your phone if you have something better than mine all right we're gonna hit 60 Hertz there is some lag uh, but not too much actually so it runs really really well this is the only part where I get really bad lag right here but as far as all the other cutscenes and in-game play it's really really playable you guys We'll click here. Okay. Cool. Right. Here goes our list of characters. As you can see, everything's running really well. Oh, I'll just go with Sonic. Why not? All right, so here goes the opening cinematic. A little bit of lag there, not too bad. As you can see, it's still really playable. Or in this case, watchable, because we're not playing at the moment. All right, here goes some footage for you guys, some actual in-game. Got him. All right. Got him. This guy's pretty easy. And we're going to... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Where'd he go? Oh, crap. Got him. I think that was it. Three hits. Awesome. So as you can see, guys, really, really playable. Uh, great emulator. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, guys, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And, uh, well, that's it, guys. Bye. See ya.